It's our favorite day of the week. MILF Manor Monday, baby. And why don't I just be a lesbian? Why don't I just go get a strap on and be with another woman? Every single Monday, we upload our reaction from the newest episode. And it seems like we have a bit of a juicy one on our hands today. MILF's broken heart. That says Jimmy and Ryan compete for Paula's heart and a shocking text causes chaos. And if you guys have been enjoying this series on the channel, if you could just leave a like on this video, it helps out more than you guys know. But let's have some fun. Episode number seven. So Jose is not in my room. I have no idea why. He never does that. If he was thinking of not coming home, he would have told me. So for those of you guys that are maybe watching the series for the very first time, the last episode ended with Jose and Disco Mommy sneaking out of the house. Should Paula really be this concerned where he is? No, there's a fucking camera crew and producers. He's probably fine. Well, let's see how the date's going. Kelly has been wanting to see my wild side. I'm ready to show her my wild side. I think I like it better than my room at the villa. Oh, <laughs> you, you do? Nothing like sneaking out of one resort in Mexico to go to another resort in Mexico. So this is the big thing we've been waiting for. Maybe for the very first time this season, we're gonna get a little hanky-panky going on between the two people. A little uh, no pants dance. They're gonna bang. Somebody needs to shove the cameraman out of there though, because that's the only thing I envisioned the entire time is they're trying to have these like serious conversations to you know build a little bit of chemistry. And you got some dude just right there with the camera behind it. The entire time. Let's see how this all goes. So. Why me? Other than the initial attraction, of course. You're just, you're super positive. You just have such a very kind heart and gentle soul. And also, Big Wiener Billy wouldn't have sex with me. So. Everything about Jose is amazing. What's not amazing though, we did not need the makeout to be that long on television. Sitting here, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Like, come on, we get the point, man. I don't need to see them playing tonsil hockey. Why do they make them so long? It was time to take that next step of getting to know her. But after this, it confirmed many things between her and I. Oh! Ho -ho! This night started with a lot of possibilities. And it ended with me with a boner in my pants that I eventually put inside of Kelly. <laughs> Yeah, a little, a little no pants dance. They didn't share everybody else's feeling back at the villa though. So I imagine we're gonna find out right now. I saw him sneak out with uh, Kelly. Are you serious? To not come back, that's not him. I have no words. I am devastated. I don't, so... I don't see him with her. Right. Also, I didn't realize Jose has kind of swindled every single person on this fucking show. I completely forgot So Young was even there. She's also pissed. How are you? Yeah, him. Late, bruh. <sighs> I didn't know what's going on. I'm like, they're spending night together. Now I feel like, yeah. All the guys are saying. I saw Kelly sneak out with you. Y'all not slick. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it with my own eyes. Yeah? Uh-huh. Ryan's mom acting the same way as Ryan did. Just popping around from one to the next? What's up with that? Yeah, you don't do that. That's not cool. Which I get it. You know, you don't want to be played. It kind of sucks when that happens. But the whole point of this show is for you to date around. And I once again stand by the fact that I think a lot of them have only known each other for maybe a week and a half. Coffee before you go. No, no thank, thank you. you. Oh, Did somebody say God. something? It ain't that deep. And as per usual with every episode of MILF Manor, they do something really weird. Today, there's a bin full of the men's dirty laundry waiting for the moms, and one full of the women's dirty laundry waiting for the sons. The mother and son who correctly identify the most pieces of each other's dirty yeah. laundry will win a special date. Wow. Knowing how MILF Manor has been though, I got a feeling there's gonna be a lot of dirty underwear. And if any one of these weirdos smells any of them, I might throw up in my fucking mouth. These are kind of sexy, right? These kind of sexy. I feel like, I feel like. Oh, is that thinking it was your mom? <laughs> That's even worse than smelling it. Oh, please tell me that's his mom's. Please tell me that's his mom's. Is that yours? Oh, that's a little small. <laughs> no, that ain't mine. Fuck! Damn it, man. Look at my boy Gabriel right now, though, huh? 
on my head, on my head, yeah. my mom's underwear. The sons obviously should have no idea what the mom's underwear is. When I was 22 years old, the only underwear I ever owned was a gift from my parents, usually around Christmas time. I have a feeling a lot of these moms are actually going to know which underwear is their sons. Oh, boy. Let's go. Okay, it's a two. This is Billy. These are Billy. Did you bought them? I did actually. <laughs> oh my God. I know my mom's super tiny. I looked in the sizes. It said SPs, like super small or something. Small petite. Oh. That was oh. yours. Yeah. Congratulations to our winning duo, So Young and Jimmy. Yeah. So for knowing each other's underwear, they won one date. It's usually been two. They both get to go out, but So Young's actually pretty cool about it, and she tells her son to go on a date. He wants to go out with Paula. For those guys that have been watching so far, we know that Paula and Ryan hit it off last episode. Is there going to be a little late switcheroo? I like how I feel about Ryan at this moment, but I'm not 100%, so I'm going to give myself another opportunity to meet Jimmy again. To summarize what happens on the date, they go out in the water, and Jimmy starts spilling all of his feelings for Paula. Says, you're the only person I could see myself with. You're the only this. You're the only that. But the producers always make these people still ask way later on, why'd you choose me? He already answered this. So, why did you choose me? I really feel that Jimmy is really sensual, and that's part of why I like to be around him. And it was very sensual and relaxing at the same time. I. You know, I'm glad, like, I didn't get a bone or anything. He has too much to give. <laughs> that was literally what I was about to cut to say. Imagine Jimmy just pitches a tent right in front of her, in front of all the producers and the cameramen. I cannot believe that's a real line I just heard in the show. Thank God I didn't get a boner. Tomorrow, it will be the time to choose your match. <laughs> oh. If the feeling is mutual, you will continue with this journey as a new pair. However... If your choice is a mismatch, you could be going home. Whoa. And the weird reality of this TV show is not a lot of people have connected. I think there's maybe three connections and that's it. Can they send home the entire cast to move some more people in or what's going on? Once I got to the villa and like realized what the situation was gonna be, I didn't really wanna stay, but I stood true to my principles, stood true in what I believed in. And through that, I feel like my mom and I, we got a little closer and we grew. Yeah, I love you. I love you too. Have a great time and no holding back. We've had our very first person tap out of the show. I know I make fun of the show a lot, but I respect the fact that he walked out of there. He said, you know what? This isn't for me. Didn't lead anybody on and didn't just try to get some more TV time and waste our time. Throughout the rest of the episode, Ryan and Charlene go on a date. Really unexpected, to be honest. Charlene wanted to go in for the kiss. Ryan didn't feel comfortable with it just yet. And that was about that. The other Ryan went on a date with Paula. They did some painting, a few kisses on the cheek, nothing too crazy. Let's see what your friends and family have to say about your new relationship. If I asked you mm. to go on a date with me, mm. would you? Okay. You have beautiful eyes. Holy, oh my god! They had no attraction to people whatsoever. So they're throwing curveballs and bringing their daughters on the show. Oh, this is unreal. Not because the producers probably ever intended the show to go like this, but nobody likes each other. This next episode should be good. If you guys want to be around for the next reaction, if you could subscribe to the channel, we'd appreciate that a ton. Milf Manor Mondays, every single Monday over here. If you've made it this far as well, leaving a like on the video helps us out so much. This show is terrible, but it's enough for us to be hooked. We'll see you guys next time.